I'm Kevin Lieber from the YouTube science channel Vsauce2, and I'm here with Petty Officer Davis, MMN1, also known as a nuke. So, tell us everything that there is to know about being a nuke. Well, I joined the Navy, uh, one, to serve my country. Uh, I had a big influence from my father and my grandfather, who both served in the United States Navy. I basically took a test, it's called the Nuclear Aptitude Test, scored well enough on that, that I got a nuclear contract. But when you're here, you're really having to apply that knowledge firsthand, right? Absolutely. So you have to have the intelligence to be able to understand what is happening and be able to know it in your head. But when you actually get to a submarine or an aircraft carrier, you have to actually be able to apply that uh, to actually operate a nuclear power plant and being an operator is a lot different than just being able to take a test and regurgitate all that information. And what are the different types of jobs that, that you're expected to do when you're working on a submarine? So when we're working on a submarine as a nuke, uh, we have basically the three different rates of machinist-made nuclear, such as myself. We're mechanical operators operating the machinery of the engine room and maintaining it, doing maintenance and operating. Then we have electricians made nuclear, who are the electrical operators and maintain all the electrical equipment on a submarine. Then we have the electronic technicians, who are the, we refer to them as the reactor operators, who maintain all the, basically, circuitry of the nuclear reactor. Can you tell me about some of the character traits that you might need to become a nuke? So being a hard worker, uh, somebody who is ready to get into the books and ready to learn and be willing to learn and accept that information and then be able to learn to apply it. That's really what it's going to take. What steps do you need to take to end up here? So first thing, you really just need to contact your local recruiter. Along that process, you are going to be able to take the ASVAB. So if you think you really want to be a new, uh, studying for the ASVAB, finding an ASVAB study guide, uh, in order to really boost your scores, boost your chances of getting a nuclear contract, uh, that is the first step into getting into a nuke.